have heard of the 52-week money-saving challenge where each week you save a dollar more than the week before. And at the end of the year, you'll have saved $1,378. Well, savings expert Lisa Rowan has three new challenges that put the fun in saving money. First up, the $5 challenge. You take every random $5 bill you find in your wallet or in your pockets at the end of the day, and you stash them aside to see how many you can add up. But there are some rules to follow to keep the challenge interesting. You can't cheat by having someone break a 20 for you. You have to go with those random ones that are left over from buying groceries or that you just find around the house. The only limitation with this challenge is that it's cash only. So if you're someone that primarily uses a debit card or a credit card, this may not be the best challenge for you. Next up, if you're ready to stash some serious cash, try the no spend challenge. What you do is spend no money for a month aside from your normal bills, those recurring expenses that you're obligated to pay. But anything like trips to the movies, hair salons, you cut it all out to see how much you can possibly save over the course of a month. This one can be tough, so you may need to ramp up to it. If you want an easier way to start, you can do a no spend week or even a no spend day to get started before building up to a no spend month. And finally, make saving money cool or hot with Weather Wednesdays. You keep track of the weather over the course of a month. You look at the Wednesday that had the highest temperature for your area, and that's how much money you put into savings. Keep things interesting. Try this challenge with friends or family in different parts of the country. Now, the challenge is, if you live in a warm place like I do in Florida, you may have to save more than you're bargaining for. But if you're somewhere cold, it may be a matter of saving 25 or $30. We love this idea so much, we came up with our own money saving challenge. Check it out on the List Facebook page. Putting sunshine in your rainy day fund on the lowdown.